Yeah, I think, you know, confidence, and we talk about confidence all the time, but just seeing how he's weighing 265 pounds, you know, about last year he was about 245, 240 at the end of the year. So just being bigger and stronger, uh, knowing where he wants to get his hands and then and then just falling through on an attack. Um, the the skill and abilities there, the, the athletic ability, I mean, the guy's got incredible feet. I don't know, I mean, if you've ever, he was he was a running back, and I remember watching the first time when he was running the ball, I'm like, is that the same guy? Because <laughs> man, he's got like he's got incredible feet. Um, but you know, with so much is just confidence, and I think it's actually getting getting injured. I think actually simplified things for him. You know, I, you see that brace on, but it, he hits a high crotch to that side, so he's able to keep that foot up better. So it's actually helped him, um, and he's hand fighting harder. And just man, when you start feeling that, and you start feeling that that little bit of hey, man, I'm a little bit stronger than this guy, but you just seeing him turn around a match that that hasn't happened a whole lot, and then seeing him going into overtime and then hit an, hit a, an attack like that that hasn't happened a whole lot in his career, you know. So those to me, those are signs. You look for signs. You look for signs of of growth or improvement or hey, this guy's breaking through. And you know, there's been a bunch of them, and that's that that was a big one for him to be able to do it on that stage against a guy that he's battled with back and forth. Uh, that's should send his confidence through the roof, but. Excited to see him in the Big 12s and Nationals. Um, you know they've they've had a few days off. I think it's really, I think it's really important. One that that guys get a little bit of time away. You know we've we we're four months in, um, and and a lot of these guys are years and years and years into training. It's not like uh, it's not like they're going to lose anything. Um, if anything, sometimes a little bit of time away, I think, can gain some. I want them to wear like, man, let's let's get back on the mat. What's going on? Let's we want to get back into it. Uh, but we'll have a really good training cycle this week. Uh, have a weekend, have a weekend, have a, have a couple days off, and then you know, you, the week of, we'll leave on Thursday. Get down there Thursday evening. You know, work out in the arena on Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday's the the competition. But uh, guys are. Guys are close to where they need to be. So much is just this thing right now and being able to focus in and feeling good. So really getting these guys feeling good uh, and knowing where they're at. And there's some, you know, there's some execution. There's some things, some, some for certain opponents, you know, you start to be able to know a little bit. Um, we don't try to dwell on that, but just having awareness and being prepared, I think that's that always helps guys. And then making the plan, whatever, it's going to be incredibly simple. And then go out and execute in it. But, uh, you know, our guys have competed well. We've competed well in tournaments. We really have. You know, that was probably one of the better dual meets we've had as a competition just from 1 through 10. You know, so I think just being able to use that momentum. But I know our guys, they 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 feel good about tournaments and being ready for tournaments and wrestling really well in tournaments. And, you know, these next two are the, the ones that we want to wrestle our best in.